Hello, my Facebook friends, my malcontents. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Welcome to a full day of Void, of course. On a Friday, I'm whispering because I am outside and there are people outside the gate. Hogs. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I just wanted to check in and let you know it is now noon when I am doing this. And um, the Libra video just hit. These uh, Twin Flame, Healing Twin Flame reads are something else. I'm kind of really loving them. Thank you, my guides. And I hope they are really helpful. I'll come a little closer in case you can't hear me. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm just sitting outside. It's the void of course day. Why rush? <laughs> Why rush? I don't care if I'm still recording at like 10 p.m. tonight. I'll get everything done. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, my Kim. Hope all is well with you and yours. Uh, I had quite an interesting mystical experience last night, which I don't think I'm going to go into here. Mm, we'll see. I have a live stream in me for YouTube. I don't know when I'm going to do it. Friday night might not be a bad night unless I'm hooking up. <laughs> I hooked up this week. It's wonderful. <laughs> I seem a little bit more relaxed. It's because I am number one and my lower back is like, okay, now what are you going to do? <laughs> more yoga, apparently until uh, I get it together to go to a chiropractor and a massage. It's yoga, 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 and Wim Hof, Wim Hof, Wim Hof every single day. I'll do the Wim Hof every day till I'm dead. Um, yeah, I'm surviving. We all are. And it's a void, of course, moon day. So it's very easy to be like, meh. <laughs> Why don't we just not call it void, of course. Let's just call it meh, of course, meh. <laughs> Howdy, Carol Ann. Oh, I love you guys. This is like coffee class. Because, of course... Mm -mm -mm. So my schedule is pretty easy today, actually. Um, uh, uh, what are the next two readings? Right, Sagittarius and Capricorn. Now it looks like I'm only putting out two videos a day on um, YouTube. If you're not familiar with the process, there's an extended on Vimeo. So instead of 12 readings this week, there are 24. But I am loving them, and the process is a lot of fun. And... Um, I found the production pattern of how to do these in a way that it's a little bit more streamlined, technical glitches aside. Everybody loves my mug. That was a gift. Somebody gave me that so long ago. It was like decades ago. I can't, I think it might have been Robin who gave it to me. Not a Batman Robin. She's in the group. Uh, I just don't remember. <laughs> Come on. I am what's called... Um, Temporally unattached. Yeah, you try doing these readings. Imagine going to the gym four times a day. That's what doing four readings a day is like for an intuitive. It's a lot. But not that a mystical experience is any proof of your evolution or anything like that. It's not. Everybody gets them every now and again, some more, some less. Um, but nonetheless, I had quite a mystical experience last night. I wouldn't call it extraordinary because they happen. Um, but visions, I had a vision and I know it was a vision because I was like, what was that? <laughs> it wasn't like trumpets and angels, but they showed me some stuff and um, there was a lot I got to share, but it's still integrating. I'm not ready to talk about all of that just yet. But I will say this, there is a wisdom that is available to us now in the crown chakra. It always is, but, you know, the, the way I teach it with the wheel of the year, the turning of the seasons, maybe an autumnal equinox, it just happened on the 22nd. It's the crown chakra, seventh Sabbath, seventh chakra. And maybe is about spiritual thanksgiving for me, right? So gratitude. And plugging that in to Matt Kahn's uh, Ten Golden Rules of Letting Go, number three, hardships can be fast-tracked through thankfulness. I've been playing with that. Well, last night it got real. It got really, really real. And uh, some pieces of the divine plan were shown to me, I guess you want to say. I guess that's what a vision is. Kind of, sort of, some understanding came. A lot of healing, some tears, but also there was something about saying to my heart, in order for me to be who I was born to become in this life, my life couldn't have been any other way. I know. <laughs> the ego goes, what? 
<laughs> Which, how do I load that? Let me count the ways, right? And that's all good. That's necessary. All of that, that backlash from the ego and the pain, right? Uh, but there's something about that, about gratitude. About gratitude and I've done nothing wrong. I get his book, the, the Universe Always Has a Plan. It's his third book. I read them in reverse order because I do things like that for some reason. Um, but it's been very, very helpful and actually triggered. Again, I don't want to say a gigantic mystical experience. What do I know, right? Uh, the power of, to move the mountain is in the mustard seed, right? <laughs> Itty bitty teeny tiny does that really make the big difference. That's the paradox of divinity. But, um, right, forgive one person, your life changes sometimes. Uh, but you can't forgive people to make your life change. The universe knows when you're trying to hack the universe. <laughs> it's very smart, the universe. So uh, the healing that I did last night, not just for myself, but for Mother Earth, was immense. It was immense. I, I'm guessing it was immense. It felt immense. Um, and I created a new magical tool spontaneously, which happens. Um, and maybe I'll talk about that. If you can get a piece of amethyst tumbled is, I think, better. Here, I'll tell you what it's called. The name of the tool is called the Crown Coal, C-R-O-W-N-C-O-A-L. Amethyst, violet, purple color, the crown chakra but charged with the violet flame, violet f um, crown chakra flame, violet flame, crown chakra flame, whatever you want to call it, for f uh, forgiveness and transformation with your gratitude. It's something else. Yeah. So now I have this tumbled, I don't have it with me right now, it's up in bed. Of course it would be. Who doesn't sleep with rocks? Who are you? You don't sleep with rocks? I, sleep, I slept with a celestite. <laughs> Who did you sleep with, with last night when well, I had a big chunk of celestite around my crown chakra? Then a th uh, an amethyst on my third eye. What else did I have? Oh, and then I had the torch aerial, my my, uh, my aerial um, torch. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to say to you, forgiveness is the hardest thing for the ego to do because the ego can't forgive. It is only the soul that can forgive. And from the soul's point of view... All of this is scripted. You've done nothing wrong in order to be, in order for me to be who I was born to become in this life. My life couldn't have been any other way. And boy, did that bring up tears. And that was the child of my heart screaming in pain. But why? Why? And just to tell him over and over and over again, you've done nothing wrong. This is mysticism. How do we have free will? If there's a divine plan, we have a free will. And this is the suckiest part and the best part of paradox. We create the narrative. That's it. The mental, emotional stuff is our part. And really, it's the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Well, there's a divine plan. And there's a near infinite variety of quantum choices that we can make as we go, particularly in terms of the stories we uh, write about what's going on in our lives and in the world and everywhere, right? Um, and that's what we can change. We can, that's the things that we can change. The courage to change the things I can, and that's a process. And the thing that I got this morning that brought me to tears and good tears, they said to me, Mark, it's not all up to you. Unity consciousness means you're not in this alone. Hand some of this stuff over to us. And I was like, really? <laughs> I'm such a Virgo. <laughs> They're like, your checklist is your checklist. We know what it is before you even write it down. We've got you. We love you. You can't fuck this up. You can't fuck up destiny. Isn't that good? Isn't that nice to know? You can't fuck up your destiny. Posted something Matt Kahn said about that. I know, I'm very pro-con right now. <laughs> that so much and broke on. <laughs> Chaka. <laughs> Madeline and now Matt Con. Oh, that cracks me up so much. I'm very pro con. Oh, if I ever meet him, I hope I get to say that to him. Because, okay. Really quick. I had this memory yesterday. I was uh, doing a video. And I mentioned Louise Hay, as I do. Louise Hay, you can read, you can heal your life is a good read. I mean, it's basic. It came out in the 80s, but it's a good foundation for people who are starting. Um, and of course, that turned into Hay House Entertainment. Doing something right. 
Um, I met her once. I met Louise Hay once at an American Booksellers Association meeting in 1990, 91, 91. Um, and every intelligent thing I wanted to say to Louise Hay flew the fuck out of my head. I was just like, yeah, I love your book. <laughs> so I guess I was starstruck by Louise Hay. It doesn't happen that often. I'm not a star fucker. I don't get starstruck that pretty much. I mean, once you can read people's energy, if you're an empath, you can feel what's really going on in there. Mm, not so much. Uh, that's why I, I kind of had a bit of a field day when I used to go to Fashion Week. It's like, mm, I feel you. <laughs> Oh, I have such stories to tell about all of that, but not yet. There, I guess I'm still integrating my Fashion Week stories. Wait for the book. <laughs> the tell-all. Oh, bitch, the day I... I should say, sorry. Oh, witch, the day I, <laughs> I write my tell-all. I think that one's going to be called The Professional Witch. That'll be the autobiography of my career and where the whole path of witchcraft has taken me. I sat across the table, literally, like, five feet away from Heidi Klum. She is I mean, some people are just born with it. Some of us, it's just Maybelline. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Avoid, of course, Moon. Mark's rambling, big shock. But I'm happy, and I'm healthy, and I'm wealthy in the spiritual sense, and my bills are getting paid. Oh, and uh, once I am done with uh, these reads, because it's really hard for me to take clients while I'm doing extended reads. Well, you want you want to support my career? You want to support my work? Go watch the the readings and, and five bucks you get uh, the extended reading they're all over a half an hour the extended so five dollars for a half an hour with me you know a private session with me is 50 bucks for a half hour so they're really good i'm really really digging them um and think of me as an artist i am you know i was an artist before i was a professional witch did you know i was a modern dancer did you know that I was a professional modern dancer for like 30 seconds. I was a professional model for like 30 seconds. Why? Because spirit was like, all right, you're going to dip your toe in this and never go back again. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. I have this thing about starving for my art, which I kind of starved for the divine, which is a different, like, if you're going to starve, do it for, you know, <laughs> the gods. Anyway, I love you all so very, very much. And I thank you so much. Gratitude, right? I am so thankful for the gift. The mantra for the fast-tracking hardship through gratitude is, I've said it before, it's four words, thank you for this gift. That's five. Thank you for this gift. Feel it. You know, you just need to say, okay, somewhere there's a gift in this. <laughs> somewhere in this pile of crap, there's fertilizer. Okay, thank you for this gift. And if you're from New York, I'm pretty sure we have a clause in our contracts that allows us to say, thank you for this gift. Thank you for this gift. <laughs> because uh, it anchors gratitude in the present moment and and acknowledges to the subconscious there's a gift in here somewhere. And then the universe has got to show you the gift eventually. I mean, even if it's 20 years later, there's a gift in all of it. Okay. So anyway, I love you all so much. Thank you for your support, right? Gratitude. Even if you just grab a rock, like even if, we'll, you know what, we'll do the... If everybody can get a hold of a piece of amethyst, it doesn't have to be tumbled. I mean, I wouldn't recommend a gigantic geode if you want to be carrying it around <laughs> in a little red wagon behind you. Yeah, it's my gratitude rock. <laughs> my gratitude geode. Literally wear it like a crown on your head. Um, but get one. <laughs> if you don't have one, quick, eBay, whatever. I would send to you immediately. <laughs> Does Amazon do crystals? I don't know. Uh, ship it from Brazil, whatever. Um, free shipping for 10 pounds or more of amethyst. I used to be in the, the crystal business for a very long time. Nightmare. Um, Lightmare on Elm Street. Uh, uh, we'll do something. Maybe tonight, maybe. Oh, Saturday would actually be better. Saturday is the day of Zadkiel, the Archangel of the Crown Chakra. Oh, maybe we'll do that Saturday night. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow night. We'll see. Like I said, if I'm getting late, I'm getting late. <laughs> so let's come massage my body for barter, I guess, <laughs> in some way, because I'm amazing in bed. <laughs> I am. You study Tantra and be a witch and dissolve all your sexual guilt and hang-ups from patriarchy. <laughs> it just, just happens. It's a lot of work, but it just happens. Exorcism, alchemy. Um, 
yeah, so we'll see how this weekend goes. So really, really have a lovely, lovely Void of Course day. Go with the flow if you can even find it, right? It's okay to just, when the moon is Void of Course, um, but if you got things to do like I do today, hey, I gotta do four readings today. Try and back it up with whatever kind of spiritual practice gets you through the day. It's cool, cool, because, um, where are we now? We were just in Sagittarius. Well, no, we were just in Capricorn. Oh, so we're going into Aquarius. That's good to know. I'm going to do Aquarius. Probably, yeah, by tomorrow night. Oh, that would be perfect. All right, put it in pencil. Tomorrow night, 10 p.m. on YouTube. Get a piece of amethyst, and we will, uh, I'll teach you how to make, because I just learned how to do it last night, the crown coal, in other words, the fire. Think of the crown chakra as violet flame, and a coal of that flame, of that fire you get to carry with you. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm <laughs> such a good witch. When I say I'm a good witch, I'm no good at it. Like, fuck Glinda and her bubble. Don't trust anybody who travels by bubble. Just saying. All right. Bye, Bye bitch. <laughs> Hi, Felicia. Have all uh, all of you a wonderful, wonderful day. Wishing you the very best and the very blessed of it all. I have to go hit myself with the pretty stick and get ready for camera. Hail. Farewell, my darlings. And blessed, blessed be. Mm -hmm.